Hi, I'm Reed Porter, a senior attorney with the Environmental Law Institute. Today, we're really excited to announce the release of a new report on Caribbean ocean protection. ELI's work will help these countries support recovery of fisheries and habitats and the livelihoods that depend on them. The Caribbean provides for and supports its people. Incredible sandy beaches draw tourists, while lobsters and conch support local fishermen, and coral reefs protect islands from the full force of hurricanes. But the Caribbean is in trouble. Reefs are degraded and covered in algae, and once abundant fish are now harder to find. With international support, Caribbean nations are creating marine protected areas to permanently protect their oceans and coasts. Fishing and other activities are not allowed in these areas so that fish and habitats can recover. But these restrictions are not always based on solid legal footing. As a result, enforcement can be difficult or impossible. ELI is working to ensure that Caribbean marine protected areas have a strong legal foundation. Today, we released a new study comparing enforcement provisions of marine protected area legislation in eight Caribbean countries. The project fills a gap identified by regional practitioners during a peer-to-peer -peer workshop in 2011. Our report looks at each country in detail and identifies regional considerations for strengthening existing laws. It will provide a framework to fill gaps and weaknesses and to continue the development of effective, sustainable ocean management tools in the Caribbean. We hope that countries around the region and around the world can also learn from the comparison and consider their own laws to improve enforcement in rapidly expanding networks of marine protected areas. At ELI, we are proud that our work is supporting sustainable livelihoods in the Caribbean. Thank you for watching. We hope you find the report useful. You can download it from the ELI website or feel free to email me at any time.